doing? How's everybody doing out there today, huh? You doing good? Hey, say this with me today on this happy Wednesday. Say, the rest of my life is the best of my life. Say it loud. I want to hear you. I got my ears on. You know, we always say, you know, when you call somebody on a radio, you say, you got your ears on? I say, well, I got my ears on, so I want to hear you say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Say it like you mean it. Amen. <clears throat> Don't just say it. Say it like you mean it. The rest of your life is the best of your life. Hey, today's Wednesday. We're having our fellowship tonight. If you happen to be coming from out of town, like a, sometimes people do. Last week we had uh, uh, Ruth and her son, Ryan, came down from Jacksonville. And uh, we had somebody that uh, uh, has been in our church for a long time, but she now lives over in Tampa. And she came over uh, to see her parents, and then she came on Wednesday night. So glory to God. So if you're coming from out of town, come early. Come at 6 o'clock so you can have supper with us. Tonight we're having Chinese food and rice, and salad, and beans, and we're having uh, cake, a really nice cake. Hey, I want to talk to you today about two things that every Christian absolutely must know, but very few do. I didn't have time for all that. I didn't have enough space to put all that in the title. But two things every Christian absolutely must know, but very few do. Now, a lot of people will teach number one. Number one, the first thing, a lot of preachers out there and a lot of teachers will teach the first thing. But they miss the second thing entirely. Never even touch on it. But the second thing is absolutely as important as the first. Number one, every Christian absolutely must know what God has promised. Or what I like to say is what you have coming to you. What you have coming to you. Every Christian needs to know what do I have coming? What, what is in it for me? I used to work with a guy, and he read this book about uh, number one. You know, always thinking about number one. So every time you would ask him, you'd say, Mike, uh, can you do this, or can I do that, or can you do this, or can you help me with this? He would always say, what's in it for me? He always said that. He took that book to extreme. He always said, what's in it for me? Well, as Christians, there's a lot in it for you, starting with salvation. That's the big thing, of course. Salve, if, if, you, if you come to Christ, as somebody did yesterday, a, a man yesterday came to the Lord. Uh, he's very ill, but we have, as a matter of fact, he's a member of our family. And we've been trying to get him Saved for years. Yesterday was his day. But he knows that his time may be getting real short. You know, when, when people, when their time is short, they're very interested in Jesus. And I said, you know what? We need to pray because he's going to the doctor and they want to do this, but they're not going to be able to do anything for him. I can tell you that right now. But God can. God can. We, you know, we prayed for his healing, too. But I said to him, I said, uh, I think it's time that, you, that we pray together to receive Jesus. I said, just in case something goes wrong, that you'll spend eternity in heaven. And he said, yep. He says, I think so. And he prayed. I mean, he really prayed to receive Jesus. He's afraid. He's afraid of death. As well, he should be. Everybody should be afraid of going to hell. Amen. I, I, I don't mince any words when I say everybody should be afraid of going to hell. 
That doesn't mean you're, you, that you live in fear about it, but you should guard your salvation. You should guard yourself. I guard my salvation. I'm never going to be deceived. Amen? So number one, you have to know what's coming to you and eternal salvation, spending eternity with Jesus in the presence of God is what you got coming to you. But you got other things coming to you too. Other things coming to you like healing. Healing. Jesus said to the woman at the well, he says, healing is the children's bread. He said about the covenant woman in, in the temple in Luke chapter 13, which is one of my favorite passages in the whole Bible. He said, shouldn't this woman, this daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years, be loosed and healed on the Sabbath? Shouldn't she be healed? That's what Jesus said. She should be healed. So healing is something you got coming to you. In uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, it says, For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor, that we through his poverty might be made rich. The word rich mean, means more than enough money to pay your bills. Money to pay your bills and money left over. That is rich. I'm not talking about a $50 million jet airplane. I'm not talking about living like Bill Gates lives. I'm talking about enough money to pay your bills and money left over to go, do good things. We have money left over to do good things. And we do good things with our money. Amen. You know, we gave somebody some money one time. And I said to Mary, I said, I hope you don't mind I did that. And she said, what's the difference? It's just sitting there anyway. Money is to be used. Amen. It doesn't do any good sitting in your wallet. It doesn't do any good sitting in the drawer. Amen. It's to be used. It's a tool. But you need it. You absolutely need it. And a lack of it causes stress. So those are, th are things. And Jesus wore a crown of thorns so that we could live a good, easy life. Now those are the things, four things, just right off the bat, that you have come into you. Now, the question is number two thing that you absolutely must know. You must know how to get what God has promised. And very few people know how to get it. And that, truth of the matter is, what sets me apart. And I don't mind telling you. It sets me apart because I am all about receiving from God. I, my whole ministry is dedicated to receiving answers to your prayers, receiving your healing, receiving an abundant life, receiving a good life, receiving the best of your life is the rest of your life. I am all about moving people into that realm. Beloved above all things, the Bible tells us in 3 John verse 2, Beloved above all things, it is my wish that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Well, that is my wish also. That is what I wish for everybody. And I'm all about receiving from God because there's a way to receive it. There's a way to receive it. We can, Jesus said, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them. All we have to do is develop our faith for it and we can have it. There is absolutely nothing you desire that you can't have if you get your faith to the point where you can receive it. And I am all about getting your faith to the point where you can receive it. Or in some cases, actually in a lot of cases, using my faith to get it for you. But I want to get God's promises in your hands. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about. That's what I do. I'm not interested in the $50 million airplane for myself. But I'll tell you what I am interested in. I am interested in you receiving all of God's promises. And that's what I intend to do. I intend to do everything I can to bring the power of God, to, to use that power, to, to, to bring all of God's promises into your life. 
healing. I don't want one more person to die of sickness or disease. Not one more person to die of sickness or disease. There is no reason to because we can use the power in the name of Jesus to get people healed. So there's no reason to, for anybody to die of sickness or disease. Number two, I want everybody to have plenty of money to pay their bills. That's what God intended. God intended for us to live in an environment of the Garden of Eden blessing. That's how God wants us to live. And because of that, it is my intention to destroy the works of the devil, which is sickness and poverty and lack and spiritual death and a hard life that's the works of the devil. I am here to destroy those works and to bring the goodness of God into your life. Now, that's what I'm all about. That's what, that's what, the, I'm telling you what. I had some praise reports this week and last week. I'm telling you that would just literally knock your socks off. And I'm telling you what, every time I get one of those, I am more determined than ever to get somebody else into a position where they have a praise report. Every one of them is an individual thing with me. And I am determined to take each and every one of my partners into the promised land, into the land flowing with milk and honey, into the place where God can bless you, where God will command his blessing to come upon you, and where everything you do comes easy, and where healing comes easy, and where you live an easy, a good life, a healthy life, free of fear and, dis and stress. That's how we're supposed to live. Amen? So everything you know, when you call me, when you talk to me, everything I'm doing and everything I'm saying, that is the means. That is the end. That is what I intend for you. That is my objective for every person. Amen? To teach them what God has promised and to teach them how to get it. Because we can get these things. I'm telling you what, everybody, te people teach all of God's promise. There's God's promise books, 57 promises of God, 102 promises of God, 587 promises of God, but none of those books will teach you how to get them. And I will. Amen. Hook up with us. Become part of this ministry. If you need a personal pastor, that's what I do. I tell everybody this, I am the pastor of last resort. If you don't have a pastor that can help you with this, I am available because that's what I want to do. I get a special delight in seeing somebody get healed. Amen. They brought me a lady a month ago, two months ago maybe. Her stomach full of cancer. Came down here from Maryland. Her stomach was full of cancer. A woman, she has children. She has a husband. She lives a good life, but she was dying of cancer. She went home totally healed. Now that's what I'm all about. Other people come to me broke. Within six months, they're living in abundance. That's what I'm all about. Share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know you got to watch these videos because we will make the rest of their life the best of their life. Hey, when you make an offering or you tithe to this ministry, you call me because I want to speak a blessing over you at the same time. Amen. I want to speak a blessing over you. I want everybody to receive the blessing of God. I want your offering to be blessed and I want your tithe to be blessed. And we know how to do that because God gave us instructions for it. Amen. Hey, go out there today. Make it a great day. Remember this. The rest of your life is absolutely, beyond any shadow of a doubt, the best of your life. And God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and it will pay your bills.